Welcome to Vention Tips, an introduction to robot programming in machine logic. In today's video, we are going to use Vention's publicly available machine tending design with a Fanuc CRX to demonstrate how you can easily program and simulate your robot online. If you'd like to follow along with today's video, click the link in the description below to open this public design. To begin robot programming, ensure you have either a UR, Fanuc, or Doosan robot in your design to enable the machine logic tab. Program your robot in two easy steps. Step one, configure your robot. Step two, program. Start by adding the robot and end of arm tool in the CAD. Step one, configure your robot. Configure your robot by clicking add robot at the bottom left corner of your screen. Start by selecting the robot model you would like to simulate and deploy. Then configure the output pins of the end of arm tool attached to your robot. When you deploy this program, you will be able to control the end of arm tool based on the output pins you have configured. Step two, program. You have the option to program from one of our machine app templates, such as the machine tending app, or build your own custom application. In this tutorial, we will program a custom application. You may choose to create a robot sequence, which could be used globally, where you can call to it in any other sequence, or you could create a local robot sequence, which is meant for one-time use. To use a local robot sequence, simply navigate to the main sequence and insert a robot sequence by clicking Add Command and then clicking Add Robot Sequence. In the robot sequence, you have the ability to add waypoints and additional robot commands, which include opening and closing your end of arm tool, waiting for an input, or waiting for an amount of time. You could teach your waypoints in three different ways. One, use the point-to-point -to -point tool. Move your tool center point to a specific location using the point-to-point -point tool. This will snap your tool center point to that exact location. Click Confirm Waypoint to teach the position. Two, Teach your waypoint using our robot jogger. This is especially useful for precise joint movements. Three, teach your waypoint using the robot triad by moving it in a plane or an axis. Press play to see your robot in action. To accurately deploy your robot program onto the pendant, go to Robot Assets and then click Digital Calibration Tools. Click Add a Digital Calibration Tool and place the Digital Calibration Tool in the 3D scene in a repeatable positioning. Make sure it is properly connected to the part on which the robot sequence will be programmed. As you can see here, our digital calibration frame is located flush against the tray we have built our robot sequence on. Each robot sequence will then automatically detect the nearest digital calibration tool and associate itself to it. These digital calibration tools can be inserted from the Robot Assets Digital Calibration Tool tab. To use a global robot sequence, navigate to the Robot Assets tab on the left-hand side and create a robot sequence in its respective tab. You may choose to edit the reference frame. Otherwise, it will default to the robot base. In this example, we clicked on a specific part in the 3D scene. Add your waypoints and robot commands to your robot sequence. All of these waypoints and commands are created with respect to the reference frame. Afterwards, 
You could execute this robot sequence in any other sequence, in this example it would be in the main sequence, by clicking Add Command, Add Robot Sequence, and selecting whichever name you have created for that robot sequence. This global robot sequence will enable you to execute the same type of motion pattern at various locations in your design scene, which is a powerful tool if you have repetitive motion patterns. All you need to do is change and edit your reference frame and watch the robot sequence translated with respect to the new reference frame. Notice that the digital calibration we have placed previously is being automatically detected here. Similarly, you could create robot loops that allow you to execute a robot sequence over an array of execution points. This means that you would be able to execute the same motion pattern over various points in your design space. To use a robot loop, add a robot array under Robot Assets. When creating a robot array, first select the reference frame you would like in order to locate the array. Specify the spacing for your row and columns between each execution point you would like to build. To play your robot loop, click Add Sequence. In the child sequence, click Add Command. Add Robot Sequence. Edit the new reference frame to match the reference frame in the robot array. Then, go to the main sequence and click Robot Loop to play your robot sequence over the points in your robot array. Press Play to see your robot in action. Now you're ready to export your program and upload it to your robot pendant. Thank you for watching and happy programming!